Hi, this is Jake at Canadian Cutting Edge. Today we're going to take a look at a Ganzo multi-tool. One of their mini ones. This is number 2019S. I'm assuming S is for small. This is a you know handy small multi-tool, spring-loaded. Come on down to the desktop with me and let's take a closer look at this. Okay, here we go. Let's start off with some size comparisons. This is a very standard size multi-tool. It's also a Ganzo one, but that's a full-size multi-tool, very normal standard size uh, multi-tool. And that's how small that one is next to it. Or another size comparison, that's an Ontario Rat. So the Ontario Rat, is that kind of size and there's your multi-tool there's your tough your, your tough there's your rough comparisons let's put these things aside and let's talk about this multi-tool for a little while uh do i like it i'm going to start off by saying you probably want to watch this whole review um of course i'm biased because i'm making the review um i think it's a, a decent little tool all of the uh, fasteners are Torx, so you'll be able to adjust this tool. Actually, I'm wrong. Some are Torx and some are Allen. Uh, I think in the U.S., a lot of people call those hex. All right, so let's talk about the size of this unit first. I'm going to close it up, and we'll talk about it this way. We've got two and three quarter inches in the length of each arm. Uh, that's about seven centimeters. We've got about an inch and five eighths across the widest part when it's closed and about an inch at the most narrow part when it's closed. The thickness of it is about one and a half centimeters, which is about roughly around really close to five eighths thick. So that's how thick it is in your, in your pocket. If you're carrying it in your pocket, um, if you open it up, then the full length of it open is four and a half. Actually, when it's like this closed, that's four and a half inches, which is right around 11 centimeters. I know all that doesn't really mean that terribly much. It's quite a bit smaller than your full size. <laughs> it's a, It's got 10 tools on it. Of course, you've got your pliers, and this whole unit here we're calling one. You've got your needle nose pliers, you've got your larger pliers, and you've got your cutters right there. Uh, this is sort of your standard zip tie um, kind of tie. Cuts through that no problem at all. I wouldn't use it to cut through metal. Um, you'll probably dent those in. If it's something soft like copper, a copper wire maybe, but certainly nothing harder than copper. So that's the first unit. It's spring actuated, so that's really nice. I like it when they open back up on their own. Otherwise, you have to tuck your pinky back behind and do that manual thing. Very few machines do that anymore. Machines. Very few pliers do that anymore. Uh, let's talk about the rest of the tools. You get at the tools while it's closed which is quite convenient. We start off with your fine blade. And uh, that blade is, I forgot to measure it before, oh, about an inch and a quarter long, which is, you know, roughly three centimeters long. It's got your fingernail notch to pull it open. And it's duller than I had expected. Uh, I contacted Ganzo and they said that uh, they don't make them very sharp out of the factory. And uh, they'll, they'll leave that up to you to sharpen however sharp you want to have it. She did say that this is 440C steel. So just like the other Ganzo tools, knives, 440C. So you got the fine blade. You've got a small flat driver. You could also use that as, that as a prying tool. Um, I like how they added these little notches right there on the tool for you to get your fingernail behind and lift. So it's easy to open them up. 
you've got a small Phillips, which is your cross tool. That's a little bit too big for eyeglasses and too small for, you know, your regular household screws. But there are screws that you come across that it would work for. You also have on here a little lanyard hole. Or uh, you can click it to your, uh, your set of keys. If you don't mind a little bit of a, a larger dangler, dangler from your keys, this isn't that very large really. Um, to dangle from your keys. You know, it easily fits in the palm of your hand. That could clip on there. And the last one on this side is a file. It looks very much like um, a fingernail clipper file. Uh, you know, it's got the, the cleaning tool right at the end there, you know, to go along and clean your nails and a file to, you know, to file on them. Or you can file whatever else you want. Those are the tools on that side. On the other side, we have a serrated knife and that's pretty sh that's pretty sharp <laughs> again it's the same kind of dimensions as the other one uh, inch and a quarter long and uh, beside it oops I forgot that one also has the nail notch we have a small awl and again that is very dull uh, sharpen that at your own will but also I haven't mentioned yet none of these lock open which you would expect it's like a, a a slip a slip joint and then you've got an even smaller flat and finally you have a little bit larger flat bottle opener and this notch here is I'm not sure what you would use that notch for uh, right there in the middle of your screen, right at the base of this. You might want to try it as a wire stripper. It... So there you go. Those are the 10 tools. Now let's talk about how it feels, the ergonomics, uh, how useful it is. Um, I was been carrying this for almost a week now, not expecting to ever need it. And, you know, I pulled it out on two different occasions, actually three different occasions just going about my daily activities. I've used the pliers. I use this uh, to cut zip ties, opening packages, some packages that had zip ties fastening it. I did not have a use for the pliers themselves to tighten anything, but I could have. I used the, uh, I used both of the knives, the serrated and the fine edge. The uh, housing of the arms here is steel and it looks like a a dark gray bluish anodized i'm not sure if it's anodized or not but that's how it looks um, it's got nice rounded sides so it's very comfortable in the hand there's no sharp spots you know are on the outside uh, you're just not going to find any sharpness here that'll bother you you've got this hard plastic um yeah, it's not rubbery like it looks like it would be, but it is a little bit, it does give a little bit uh, for, for your traction. So it looks like some nice fine jimping all the way up, you know, with a hole in the middle to make it easy to clean. So it has that exact same finish on both sides. And so you get a lot of good purchase. You know, this goes into the fat of your palm and with your fingers there, and you get a lot of good grip and purchase with it. You can, you can give it a lot of torque. Um, I did do some tests where I was squeezing this as hard as I can, and you can see that it flexes um, quite a bit when you squeeze it together, but I've had no ill effects on there. It has not shown any weakness. Um, there's no, if I try to hold it with one hand and, and move the other one, you know how you do with knives and you try to do side to side play. There's very tiny bit of movement, and I think that's just the flexing of metal but there's nothing loose or anything in there on both sides. It's nice and snug. Uh, this pivot here in the middle has not uh, shown any problems at all. There's no looseness to it. There's no play in there at all. They've done a really good job of fastening that together. So it's a comfortable little unit um, and you'll find uses for it. This knife, this knife, I keep saying knife when I'm doing reviews. This little plier set comes with a pouch. The, uh, the bigger pliers come with these bigger hard pouches. The small plier comes with a small, small soft pouch. 
you know, it's not no hard surfaces here at all. But it's sewn together quite well. It's got Velcro that works. And uh, you just close up the tool, stick it in, close it up. This fits um, one and a half inch belt. Or you can just close the pouch and drop it in your pocket like this if you don't want uh, it to rub against anything. Or just drop this in your pocket. Or, as we mentioned before, use that little hook, that little ring I mean, to put it on a keychain or some other system to hang it. It's a nice little tool. I see this online for just over six dollars. At that price, I say buy, buy, buy. It's, uh, you know, buy a few, put one in your tackle box for fishing, put one in your glove box, in your car. You never know when you're going to need a little tool. And at six bucks, at six dollars, at six dollars US, just over six dollars, you know, this is a steal. And I highly recommend it at that price point. Is it a super tool? No, but it's a very good tool for the price. Remember guys, always cut towards your chum and not your thumb. Bye now.